so I've got this curved section of plinth attached to this straight section of plinth. I've had to slightly wrap out the back of this MDF to put a bracket on because this is slightly thinner than that one. So what I'd like to do here, because the rest of the plinth has got this sort of plastic trim that fits on the bottom that seals it to the floor but also keeps um, the, the plinth from um, bringing any moisture up if you're mopping. So what I really want to do is I want to try and get this to follow this curve and obviously it's going to be quite tricky because these are quite inflexible. So what I've done, I've done it before so I know it's going to work. I'm going to put a series of cuts in the back of this that mirror uh, the round of this plinth and hopefully that will allow me to bend that round. So I think what I'm going to do is clamp this down maybe in a bit of spare plinth and perhaps get my, my little battery disc cutter out, disc grinder and put a series of slots in and see if that does it. Right, I've got it all set up. I've put this trim that I want to cut the back out of onto a scrap piece of um, plinth and I've clamped it to my stools. I've got a disc cutter that's got a fairly thick blade in, so I'm going to run a series of passes down through here to obviously not quite the front and see how we got with that. Probably going to smoke a bit, I should imagine. this off and see if that will allow it to curve. If it doesn't we might just have to go back in and make these a little bit deeper. Right, at the moment of truth, let's have a look. It's, it's, it's pretty flexible so fingers crossed, I've got to be careful, I don't want to split it. Put that in there carefully. Oh yeah that's that's going. That's nice. Yep. Oh yes. Careful. Oh, that's superb. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. That is called skullduggery, that is. And none of this is going to be seen, obviously, because it's below the plinth and behind it. So, well tough with that. I'll flip it round over and we can have a look at it in its, in its full glory. Right, so that's on. I know this is a really small thing, but I get a real kick out of doing something like that. I've taken a, you know, a flat piece of straight trim and sort of manipulated it to fit beautifully around that corner. I just think it's, I know it's, it's probably detail that a lot of people won't see, as I said, but that, I'm really pleased with that. That looks so slick now, so I can get that plinth fitted on.